Hey everybody, it's High Tech Man here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remotely access your computer from anywhere in the world. You might be asking yourself right now, how is that possible? Well, with the software here, it's called TeamViewer. It is a very easy to use, very easy to access uh, virtual private client or VPN program that you can use. And I'm just going to show you how to use it real quickly. It's very easy and it's cross-platform, which is the best part. You click on downloads here on the TeamViewer. And whether you have a Windows machine, a Mac, Linux, or a mobile device, we'll get into mobile later though, uh, just click on your operating system, in my case it's going to be a Mac, and what you want to do is you want to download the all-in-one TeamViewer full version. And download the latest version because uh, if you download the latest version in Macintosh, when you do it in Windows you'll, ha you'll see that it's 7.0 as well. If you're doing a cross-platform connection, you're going to need this. So for the sake of this movie, I've already downloaded here my downloads. And I'm just going to launch it. And skip this part. Double click on Team Viewer of the package. It's going to just continue. We're going to continue, continue through. We're going to agree to the terms and agreements. Now, you can either install it on your computer or you can run it temporarily. I'm going to install it for the sake of time and I'm going to install, put in my password real quickly. And this is very important. You want to use remote access computer. Yes, you do want to remotely access this computer later. So you want to click continue. And it's going to ask you for a password to put in. So just put in a password that you'll know that you can remember to easily access your computer. It's going to be writing the files. And it's done. So just click close. And then now it's going to launch the program. Now on my other computer, uh, you'll see here on, on my right or my left, wherever the video just comes up, uh, you're going to see my old MacBook Pro along with my iPad. Well, part of this program is that you can actually use it on older computers and your mobile devices. So if you want to remotely access your, com your computer, you're going to need to make an account here. So just click sign up real quickly. It shouldn't take but a few seconds to do. All they're going to need to is just a username that they would want, a an email address and a password, and, uh, and that's basically it. But I've already made an account with them, so I'm just going to log in real quickly. Okay, now once you're logged in, you'll see that all of your computers that are on are logged in with TeamViewer are here. So you'll see that I already have a, my MacBook, which is over there on my on the other video, and a computer that I use, my Microsoft computer, uh, back in my uh, ho in my home. So. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down and look for the computer that you want to connect to. In this case, this computer here is my MacBook Pro. So you just double click. It'll ask you for the password. So in this case, the password that I originally set up on the other computer, I just click on login. And there you can see on the other screen, I can pull up anything that I want. I'll just launch iTunes and I'll launch Safari. And then you can see but everything seems to be working just fine. So, that is how you remotely access your computers from anywhere in the world. But, we're not done yet. We all, there's also a version for the iPad. You just go onto the App Store, you can find... Pause. Sorry, I didn't realize when I looked at this, but that the price was $139.99. Now, the version I'm using is the free version, so don't get those two mixed up. They do basically the same thing. All right, now back to the video. It's called TeamViewer HD. You launch it, log in. It'll automatically log. Oh, it'll automatically log you in. And then what you do is you can click on computers, and then you find the MacBook. And in this case, it's going to be this other one over here type in the password and here you can see it's just giving you basic instructions on what to do and I can still remotely use the computer even from my iPad so that is how you access your computer with your iPad or any other computer and cross-platforming as well so if you like the video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe